There are alternatives to jail time for certain people accused of certain crimes, and that's the topic of today's conversation with Youngstown Municipal Court Judge Carla Baldwin. WKBN Community Affairs Director Dee Crawford joins us with our in-depth interview. Thank you, Judge Baldwin. Uh, as we continue our conversation about the biggest challenges, let's talk uh, about the um, various courts uh, systems that are available to you as alternative programming. So at Young Time Municipal Court, I'm proud that we now have three what we call specialized dockets. So those are dockets approved by the Supreme Court, which allows individuals who have suffered from drug addiction, from a mental health disorder, from uh, if they're a victim of human trafficking, the court now has three specialized dockets that an individual can plead into. And so I'm proud to preside over our drug court and veterans court, and Judge DeSalvo presides over the human trafficking court. How long have those courts been available to you as a judge? Well, the Veterans Court I inherited from my predecessor, Judge Millich. He started that as a veteran himself. He recognized that there was a need to help individuals who had served our country and found themselves criminal, um, involved in the criminal justice system. So I was proud to maintain that. I feel like that's the least we can do for those who have given so much for our country. And then it was my goal uh, to start a drug court um, when I ran. And so thankfully, through the support of our community leaders, agencies, and the support of city council and the mayoral administration, we were able to launch our drug court in January of 2020. Each of those courts in their own way also are very cost effective because those individuals would ordinarily be sitting in uh, incarceration someplace uh, pending and serving some sentence. Whereas if they go through these court systems, um, their charges can be dropped yes. and uh, those individuals can return to society and productive. Absolutely. And that's the goal. Because I always tell people, once you're in the system, we have you. We want to keep you at the misdemeanor level. We do not want you to go on yes. and we do not want you to come back. So what we try to do is support individuals and say, okay, you need something. Let's give you the resources, let's give you the toolkit, and then let's teach you how to apply it so you create a new default. And that way when you leave our program, not only are you clean and, and mentally in good uh, a state, but you're ready to be a good neighbor and ready to be a good employee and a good dad or a good mom. And, and it's worth it, it is definitely worth it. Within the uh, court system within the city of Youngstown, how are you basically funded? Well, we are funded by the city. Okay, those, this, the city funds the court. The court is not self-sustaining financially, um, but our, our <coughs> budgets Excuse go me. through city council like every department, and we get approved every year. And then our court has also been successful in applying for grants. So uh, drug court and veterans court also receives additional funding from our federal government. We apply for the Bureau of Justice Administration, and that supports training and support to, to our program. And as well as the uh, governor has made funding available through the Ohio Mental Health and Drug Addiction Services Board. And thankfully, our local uh, board leadership, uh, Dwayne Pitcherilli and Brenda Heidinger, have been instrumental in helping us secure those funds for our specialized dockets here as well. We're beginning to see more and more of the term being used um, and, and an expression of what's taking place as trauma, uh, victims of trauma. Are you seeing that as well in your courts? Absolutely. Uh, you, you see so much layered trauma. And so many individuals, we just say, oh, we have grit and we are tough in this city, and we know we are. Um, we have some amazing individuals. But a lot of that is just learned trauma. You just learned how to carry this monkey on your back, and you recognize once you get into the system, once you get some help, you don't have to live like this and life doesn't have to be that hard and that there are resources and amazing, amazing agencies out there who want to help move our community forward. I want to thank you, um, Judge Baldwin. We continue our conversation with the judge tomorrow at First News at 5. Again, I'm WKBN Community Affairs Director Dee Crawford.